Hey everyone, I hope you had a really great day trading today. So this morning we did open with a gap down and from there we traded down and came back up to try and fill that gap but got rejected right at the 5 minute 200 moving average and we only filled that gap about halfway. So from there we got rejected and traded underneath the 5 minute 200 moving average the rest of the day. That was resistance. And you can see the last two times it was, didn't even come close. It was just there was no strength at all. Really low volume today and we did close down 0.43% and VIX came up 1.3% as well and we did trade completely within the implied move so we did start the week we we traded underneath the five minute 200 moving average on friday actually the first part of the day we we popped up but then friday afternoon and into close and then we continued that today so this five minute 200 moving average is going to be an important level to get above if we're going to try and fill this gap up here the um US credit downgrade gap. And if we can't get above this level, the five minute, the next moving average to test is actually below these two. It's all the way down here. So that is getting a little too far ahead, but let's go check out tomorrow's levels. So tomorrow's implied move from options is between 446 and 452 and then the 30 day average volatility 445 to 453 and to the upside the first level to look for is this 5 minute 200 moving average. You can see it on the 5 minute chart that has been the resistance half of Friday and all day Tuesday and just above that there is a small gap that we did open today and then filled only halfway so 5 minute 200 and this gap to the upside above that the implied move is at 452 and then just outside of tomorrow's range Friday's highs which is also the bottom of the US credit rating down gap is the next resistance above tomorrow's trading range and then to the downside we do have the one hour 200 moving average and then the 50 day moving average and the 50 day moving average this is actually really cool but it's also the two hour 200 moving average and just to prove that I will switch over to the two hour chart and you have it's almost exactly the same level you have the two hour 200 moving average and then the 50 day moving average and they're just about the same i just don't trade the two hour chart but i do trade the one day so just to make it easier i use the 50 day moving average but those two levels both the one hour 200 moving average and the two hour 200 moving average are crossing right here which could make for an interesting support level and also the one hour if it is to cross underneath the two hour that is a bearish signal but we would need tomorrow to be very red for that to happen but it looks like tomorrow or the next day's range that could happen and that would be very bearish um, sometimes though you could see the moving averages use each other as a support so it could bounce here the one hour could turn um, so definitely things to look out for and then underneath these two levels here we have the 30 minute which just having the 30 minutes still underneath the one hour and the 50 day is pretty bearish still so um, to move higher this 30 minute is gonna have to start crossing up these levels here but tomorrow's trading range looks really interesting. I'm not gonna lie, I am looking forward to trading it. Have fun, trade safe, and make sure you take profits when you're up. I will see you guys tomorrow night.